this is a, a potential boon uh, for uh, the progressives and activists who are right now in the city council. Um, it's the continuing battle of the Fifth Ward. So right now there is an ongoing uh, challenge between uh, challenger uh, William Calloway and Alderman Leslie Harrison. Now this is for who's going to become the Alderman of the Fifth Ward. Again, the votes may be in, but the fight isn't over. So. Uh, as it stands right now, uh, William Calloway will appear in court Friday morning to request a restraining order in hopes of preventing Harrison from being sworn in on Monday. Uh, the latest maneuver comes two weeks after a court-ordered recount declared Harrison uh, the victor by 176 votes. So again, the race was narrowed then. Calloway was granted a discovery recount on April 18th, citing election code violations. He and his attorney, uh, Frank Avalon, maintained that several uh, precincts in the ward failed to produce certificate of voting results, which is required by the Illinois election code. Now, Calloway's camp believes that they have enough proof to strip Harrison of her power, making her ineligible to join the new term next week. But according to the Chicago Board election spokesman, Jim Allen, that plan may backfire. Uh, the law states that the winner isn't seated before the new term, then the current alderman continues uh, until another is appointed or a special election is called. Now, uh, Callaway's campaign advisor, Gabriel Piemont, uh, said the judge will decide. The fact is that you have four precincts four precincts right now that didn't turn anything in or if they did the documents were blank uh, the law uh, says that the results have to be produced but it doesn't state whether or not there are consequences for not doing so. Um, so again, this is a, a, a very interesting race. We're going to see how it turns out, especially on Monday, because that's when Mayor-elect Lori Lightfoot is sworn in, as well as all the other new aldermen are sworn in as well. And we'll have a brand new city council. And uh, just so you guys have an idea who William Calloway is, we've mentioned him on the show when we were on the radio, when we were on uh, Can TV, and even when we started doing this live stream on January 2nd of 2019. Um, William Calloway it was one of the main activist leaders who got the uh, shooting of Laquan McDonald uh, made public. He was fighting for it. Him and numerous other activists and community organizers were fighting days and night to get that video made public so that the people can see what happened. And he is somebody who has represented his community. He is somebody who fights for his community and is very well aware of the issues impacting not only people in his ward, but all across the city of Chicago. And he could be a potential ally for the progressives in the city council. Um, here's hoping that he's able to be successful in actually getting a recount or the, the chance, I guess the opportunity, a small chance for a special election. Uh, We'll see how this turns out. Again, this is an ongoing story. Um, I do wish him all the best. He is somebody that I think should, you know, get a little bit more media attention. And um, I, I hope that it, the results go in his favor. But again, um, this is Chicago politics. And with Chicago politics and voting recounts, there's always questionable um, ways votes are tallied up. So who knows what happened to those votes in those four precincts that didn't turn anything in. Uh, hopefully we find out the information for that because that shouldn't be allowed. And we should at least know how those people voted in those four precincts turned out because let's say he won, well, Harrison shouldn't then be in office. But again, there's there's a lot more um, uh, details to the story and you know we'll let you guys know what the end result will be. I'm hoping personally that William Calloway, you know, gets in, but you know, it, it, it's not looking good. There's a small window of opportunity, but we'll see what happens. Hey, did you like that video? Hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up icon, and also hit that ring bell notification. So that way you guys know when we have more content up on the Hardlands Media YouTube channel. But Paul, what else can people do to help us out? Uh, keep watching.